This is your starter template. Over here, where the viz groups are, you can see they've already got, they've already been grouped and sorted already. Auto and user. Uh, so if we just get rid of everything for now, let's start with, oops, get, rid of, get rid of everything for now. Let's just start with terrain. We've got two types of terrain. One is displacement and the other one is the underlay. And uh, when you're setting up displacement stuff, you do not have to worry about this at all. But what this option gives you is you can start with a, um, a big, lots and lots of flat brushes all joined together as your, your floor, or you can simply just go for the terrain, okay, which is which is the displacement map, which is loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads, and loads, and loads of little triangles all together. If you want to edit your displacement, Control A with it selected. And then right here is displacement and this little button paint geometry auto so always auto so always auto so trust or there will be gaps in your displacement distance is how far it's going to go up or down and radius is how big you can see we've got a thing thing you've over there another cool hotkey is shift Z to full screen the screen that you're pointing at. Control A brings it back. Shift Z brings it in. Control A snaps it back. And then to paint, you just hold down the mouse like that. Let's go into a full screen. Whee! It's with no draw at the moment, which means it won't show up anyway as a texture. So let's go ahead and back onto material, click on browse. Let's just put in like grass, double click, apply. And if it does that, that means you've applied a blend texture, which will not show. There's another one. There you go. Zoom in a little bit and there you got your displacement. The underlay will sit there, let's see, it's poking out. And you can keep that under there, it's up to you. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends. Water, this is a great one. It gives you a water, which is essentially the exact same thing as the underlay, but it's one giant brush. Control A to go back to the four screens. See, one big brush. Click on this bit, like the most free, if you've been on 3D software, as you know, you click on this little area here and you can get your different views up. And then you only really need 3D textured and flat. So the camera is textured, so you can see the textures. And I'm just gonna change this to front. Okay, now the water, select the water. Here it is, the one big brush. For the water, what you want to do is not have anything selected. Shift A to get your materials up. Browse for a water. Water 2 is one of the few that actually works. So search water 2, double click, and then you want to right click on the top surface. And that's all you need to do. You don't have to worry about this or that top one. And what I like about this is you can then go, all right, well, let me control S, shift S, big button, shift S to select. And then I can raise the water level and it kind of like blends in better with the terrain. Look how much better does that look? Now, skybox. Boom. It has already made you a fully working, fully sealed skybox. One thing you might notice, this poking out over the top, that is going to cause leaks, 100%. So to fix it, select your skybox. 
it'll be all the sides will be joined together. Control U to ungroup. And I don't even know where it is. There. Ungroup. Now you can select this one. Easy way to do this is just to stretch it out, but for the sake of tutorial, check over here. See, snap is off at the moment, which is very bad. Turn it on. Shift W. Shift W. I'm sure it's up here as well. Snap to grid, align. It's not easy to find, but Shift W, make sure it's on. Control plus, zoom in a couple of bits. And then you can just literally use the arrow keys to move it up. Then select, hold down control and select. Select them all. If you're wondering how I'm going from mouse cursor to the little square thing like that so I can look around and then back again, I'm pushing Z, it's the Z key. Push Z, off, push Z, on. And then you can fly through to the bit that you want, hit Z, and you're solid again. Anyway, and then stretch this up to meet the roof. And there you go. Look at that, beautiful. Now let's add a skybox. Load up your lights folder, which uh, um, we'll have all the sky, I'll put all the skyboxes in there and all the weapons as well. Let's get rid of these while we're talking. And this has got every, this has got all of like the basics in it that you that you need. Lights will come to in a bit. Let's have a look at skyboxes. While you're in free view, by the way, you can keyboard it around. Now, what you need to do, each one of these is a skybox. And each one of these has been configured for that particular skybox. Tone control map and logic auto will stop it being super duper bright and it will just keep everything all nicely together. Those settings are pretty much universal. So you can just copy and paste them, but I have adjusted them for each sky map. Shadow control is just to make sure the shadows don't look stupid, essentially. And then your light environment. This one, very important. This is basically gonna tell Hammer what your sky settings are. Okay, so nice and easy one. Let's go for this one here. We don't know what it looks like. Shift A, and then click on it. And then it will tell you there. Skybox, Zen, whatever. This is a quick way of getting it from one to the other. You need to hit replace. And then select that and copy. You want just the bit after skybox. So Zen underscore sky underscore six. That's the name of the skybox texture. Copy it. And then just cancel that. Come back into here, into the map. We go to map, map properties. And right here, skybox texture name. I'm going to control V in there and save. Apply, apply, apply. Now that will put that skybox texture all around the skybox, which is cool. Go back to the this one here. And now for this particular skybox, we've got this light environment and that, that, that. Copy it. And then just drop it in anywhere where you're going to find it. Hey. Now that is ready. What we need to do now is add some spawn points. So I don't know where my entity thing's gone, but um, control, um, oop. yeah, yeah, there it is. Is that control E or shift E? One of the two. Anyway, when you see it, there it is. Click on there, start typing, deathmatch, player, info player deathmatch. There it is. And then just click, boom, and you're in. 
control file, save. So we'll compile it then. I mean, it's going to be basic, nothing in there, but you'll see how it all fits together. Compile. Now you're probably seeing this. Make sure that's selected. Don't be afraid. Do not, don't run game after compiling, that's fine. Click on expert. Go to HDR full compile. Untick this one, because that's going to launch the game. HDR full compile. It won't take very long. If the map's fine, it will be fine. If there's loads of shit going on, it might take a bit longer, but it's fine. It is just as quick, if not about, but this gives you the full HDR settings. So watch this, how quick. Go. We're done. Load them up, see what it looks like. Start template. Load it up. Ta da! Although, in this case, the water hasn't worked. Let's go find out why. Disconnect. Back in Hammer. Go to Map. And load point file. Load point file. We have a leak. That red line there. Where the hell? What on earth is leak? The shadow control is leaking. It's so fucking random. It's going under here. Why is it getting out? All the way over here. What's going on over here? Da -da -da. Oh. That's because we forgot to turn back on the underlay. Underlay, underlay. There you go. Now it's now it'll be fine. <laughs> so yeah, check under there. The underlay. Most of the time it'll be completely flat, so you can just leave it. If you do delete it, then you can simply Oop. Oop. Selection tool. Entity tool. Shift E. The entity tool, selection tool, selection tool. You can just copy that roof down to the floor. You can easily do this by holding shift. Don't hold it every time because it will do that. But yeah, hold shift once, let go, and then you can bring it down to the bottom there. Grid size, it's the key that's next to P. I don't know what it is. It's like a weird bracket thing, like a boot bracket and then a square bracket underneath. You'll know the one though. Next to the P key, to the right of it, those two. That will add, will take away. If you look over here where the snap grid is, it'll go to 16, 8, 32, 64. That's how you change it. So you just make it, yeah. Drag it up. And there you go. You've got your box under there. But we don't want it to render anything that it doesn't have to, so get rid of that. Save, compile, full compile, HDR, full compile, fine. Look at that, it's basically done before I even loaded up. Just do it again, make sure it actually did it. Oh yeah, there we go. Cool, that should be fine. If you want to check it again, go to map, load point file. And if it comes up like this, then you know there are new leaks, because it can't find the point file, which is good. Back to game. And there we go. The water. Cool, eh? Alright, one more thing. One more thing. On the lights file. These are the lights. It'll be good to see what they look like. If you want to get a rough idea, you can go up here and do lighting preview. And that'll just give you an idea of how the shine is hitting the wall. What kind of effect it's having on the map. Okay, easy. We'll render these in a bit and have a look, but back to 3D textured. There are three different types of light 
two of them actually produce light, one of them just replicates light, as in like it, it, it creates the beam, the beam of light, like what you're seeing from these street lights. So the one at the top here, this one, oh, bloody hell, still grouped. What are you doing grouping, mate? Come on. Ungroup yourself. There you go. Spotlight, point spotlight. That's going to create the beam, like the visual beam, but it's not really going to affect the map. The one underneath it, this little green fella, will actually produce light. You can see it there. If you can't, then it's this button here next to the com compile. As in all of them, the brightness, that's where you pick the color. The number after these three, these three are the values of RGB, red, green, blue, red, green, and blue. Is it red, green, and blue? Well, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean. And then that number there is the strength. The spotlight's like this. <clears throat> Depends on the room. So it's best tested, but these ones have been set up like to to be you know as good as it can be hopefully like this one here it's only on 30 this one here is on 200 so and this one's you know, so it really depends and then you got this one the uh, oh, sorry they're all <laughs> they're all grouped there we go light I'm on, usually have on very low, 10, 20, you let, barely even shows. Sorry, it stopped recording for whatever reason. Yeah, have those on low. You can just copy and paste them into your map, but it will change the atmosphere of the map because it will change all the lighting and shit. So it'll look really cool. So you can have a great skybox, but since you, the room, you know, build a, a box room and everything, but until you get lights in there, that's when it really starts to come alive. There you go, done. So I mean, it's stupidly quick to do it. We've get at this stage to keep like rendering and checking it, rendering and checking it. Get it right. There we go. Look. Hey. So, yeah, that's your basic. You just start adding shit in. 